Hey, this is Rick with Custom Concrete Design in Lake of the Ozarks, Missouri. Um, this week we are in um, Barnett and we're doing this interior bathroom floor, wood subfloor. Um, we've got our uh, rubber membrane on there now, getting ready to uh, take care of the cracks, seams where the wood meets. There's one here and then these little marks right here. We're going to go ahead and fill in little holes. There's another seam there. And then one right here. Uh, in the shower, we're going to do an overlay with uh, acid stain and epoxy, clear epoxy. We're also going to do uh, on this right here. We're going to do the metallic epoxy here, and you know that's what that's this is, this floor is going to be as well. All right, we got all the heat coils down. The sand is broadcast into the permaflex. Now we just gotta wait for it to cure up. We'll come back and we'll sweep all the extra sand up out of here. And we'll put on a scratch coat and get those coils completely buried. Okay, we've got our uh, thin set self leveling concrete in place. Coils are buried. Still a little wet because we just finished up. Okay, we've got a couple of base coats down here in the shower. And uh, it's just drying up. Should be dry within a few hours. We'll get a texture coat on top of it. Well, we finished spraying this about uh, an hour ago with our antique brown and uh, charcoal, antique chocolate and antique charcoal. Uh, this is different than the acid stain. We did the acid stains first. We did two coats there and then we did one uh, fairly heavy coat with the antique stains. So a couple of different stains going on here. All right, the base coat of epoxy is down. We'll